Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to make this dog pot holder, which is, was a request quite a long time ago. You could also make an applique by just leaving off the hanger bit on the last two rows. I'll also make this pattern into a cushion and a bag for a little girl. Now I'll be using wool today in eight ply, which is light worsted in the US or double knitting in the UK. I'd use wool and not synthetic because that would melt for a pot holder, or you could use two strands of cotton. Now I've got two browns, a main brown and a dark brown for the ears. I've got black for the nose and the outer eyes, white for the markings, the inner eye and the muzzle, and two pinks for the tongue. I'm using a 2.5mm crochet hook because I want it to be fairly tight for a pot holder. I've got my scissors, a darning needle to weave in my ends, my thread and a sewing needle to stitch it together, and I've got some grey cotton to put the dots onto the muzzle. Now I'll start with the head part. So I've got my main colour, my brown, and I start with a magic loop and work three chain and 14 double crochet into my circle. Pull my circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the top of the three chain. For row two I start with three chain and work one double crochet in the same place as the chain and then two double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll work row two and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row we join with a slip stitch in the top of the three chain. Now rows three and four are work the same. We start with three chain and work one double crochet in the same place as the chain and then work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and two double crochet in the following stitch. And we repeat that right around the row. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch. And at the end of the row we'll join with a slip stitch into the top of the three chain. So I'll work rows three and four and I'll be back. At the end of row four we join with a slip stitch in the top of the three chain. For row five we start with three chain and work one double crochet in the same place as the chain and then one double crochet into each of the next three stitches and 
and two double crochet into the following stitch. And we'll repeat that all the way around. One double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And then two double crochet into the following stitch all the way around. So I'll complete row five and I'll be back. At the end of the row we join with a slip stitch in the third chain. For row six we work three chain and work one double crochet in the same place as the chain and then we work one double crochet into each of the next four stitches and then two double crochet into the following stitch and we'll repeat that around to the end of the row one double crochet into each of the next four stitches and then two double crochet into the following stitch to the end of the row. So I'll work this row and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row we join with a slip stitch in the top of the chain. For row seven we start with three chain and work one double crochet in the same place as the chain and then one double crochet into each of the next five stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch And we repeat that right around the row. So one double crochet into each of the next five stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch right around to the end of the row. So I'll do that and I'll be back. At the end of the row we join with a slip stitch in the top of the chain. For row eight we start with three chain, work one double crochet in the same place as the chain and then one double crochet into each of the next six stitches and then two double crochet into the following stitch and we repeat that right around to the end of the row so one double crochet into each of the next six stitches and then two double crochet into the following stitch right around to the end of the row so I'll complete the row and I'll meet you at the end at the end of the row we join with a slip stitch in the top of the chain. For row 9 we start with 3 chain and work 1 double crochet in the same place as the chain and then 1 double crochet into each of the next 7 stitches. and then two double crochet into the next stitch and we'll repeat that to the end of the row one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches 
and then two double crochet into the following stitch all the way round to the end. So I'll complete this row and I'll be back. And we'll join with the slip stitch in the top of the chain. For row 10 we start with 3 chain and work 1 double crochet in the same place as the chain and then 1 double crochet into each of the next 8 stitches. and then two double crochet into the following stitch. And we'll repeat that right round the row. So that was one double crochet into each of the next eight stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch around to the end of the row. So I'll complete row 10 and I'll meet you at the end at the end of the row we join with a slip stitch in the third chain for row 11 we work one chain and work one single crochet in the same place as the chain and then work one single crochet into each stitch until we get to halfway so I'll work my one single crochet into each stitch to halfway and I'll be back. Now when we get to halfway we work 25 chain Work a single crochet in the same place as our last single crochet and then continue to the end of the row working one single crochet into each stitch. That will be our hanger hanging loop. So I'll finish this row and I'll be back. At the end of the row we join with a slip stitch in the chain row 12 we start with one chain and work one single crochet into each stitch right around including the loop. So I'll work this row and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row we slip stitch in the first chain and fasten off. And there's the head finished. I'll work the muzzle now. I start with 17 chain I miss the first two chain and I work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end.
for row 2, we work 2 chain and turn, work 2 half double crochet into the first stitch, and then 1 half double crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 3 we work 2 chain and turn, work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches, 1 half double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row four we work two chain and turn and work two half double crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 5 we work 2 chain and turn, work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches, 1 half double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch,
and to work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row six we work two chain and turn, work two half double crochet in the first stitch, and then work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 7 we work 2 chain and turn, work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches, one half double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For rows eight and nine we work two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. One half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and then work a joint half double crochet over the last two stitches. So that's rows 8 and 9, 2 chain and turn, a joint half double crochet over the first two stitches, one half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and a joint half double crochet over the last two stitches. So I'll finish those two rows and I'll be back. For row 10 we work 2 chain and turn. We work 2 joined half double crochet over the first 4 stitches. So a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches. A joined half double crochet over the following 2 stitches and then work one half double crochet into each stitch until we've got four stitches left. And then we work two joined half double crochet over the last four stitches. So one joined half double crochet over the two stitches and then another joined half double crochet over the next two stitches. And 
and row 11 we work 2 chain and turn and it's worked the same as row 10. So 2 joined half double crochet over the first 4 stitches. So a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches, a joined half double crochet over the next 2 stitches, one half double crochet into each stitch until we have four left. And then a half a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches and then a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the first side done. It goes that way and we'll join the other side there. So I'll fasten that one off. For the second side, we join our wool in the first stitch just in there on the side where it slopes slopes down where our tail is and we work two chain and work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end row 2 we work 2 chain and turn and work 1 half double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row three we work two chain and turn. We work two half double crochet in the first stitch. One half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches.
and work a joined half double crochet around the last two stitches. For row 4 we work 2 chain and turn and work 1 half double crochet into each stitch until the last stitch. And we work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row five, we work two chain and turn, work two half double crochet in the first stitch. One half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row six we work two chain and turn and work one half double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row seven we work two chain and turn, work two half double crochet in the first stitch, work one half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches, and work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For rows 8 and 9 we start with 
two chain and turn, we work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. We work one half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. That's the rows 8 and 9. So 2 chain and turn, a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches, 1 half double crochet into each stitch to the last two, and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 10 we start with 2 chain and turn and work 2 joined half double crochet over the first two first 4 stitches sorry, so a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches a joined half double crochet over the next 2 stitches one half double crochet into each stitch to the last four stitches. And then a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. And for row 11 we work 2 chain and turn and work 2 joined half double crochet over the first 4 stitches. So a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches, another joined half double crochet over the following 2 stitches. A half double crochet into each stitch to the last 4 stitches. Then a joined half double crochet over the following two stitches and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the muzzle done except for a neatening row. For the neatening row we'll work one chain and then work one single crochet into each stitch around. Just find a suitable place to insert your hook and just work around. Try not to pull it too tight keep it as flat as possible. So I'll work around my neatening row and I'll be back. When you get back to the beginning of the row you slip stitch into the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the muzzle. For the chin piece, I start with a magic loop and work two chain 
and five half double crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight but I don't join. For row two I work two chain and turn and work a half double crochet into the same place as the chain and then two half double crochet into each stitch across. Now for rows 3 to 5 we work 2 chain and turn, work a half double crochet in the same place as the chain, 1 half double crochet into the next stitch and 2 half double crochet into the following stitch and we repeat that across. So 1 half double crochet into the next and two into the following stitch right across. So that's for rows three to five. So I'll complete to the end of row five and I'll be back. For row six we work two chain and turn, work one half double crochet in the same place as the chain, one half double crochet into the next stitch, two half double crochet into the following stitch and we repeat that one half double crochet into the next stitch, two half double crochet into the following stitch all the way across. And then we fasten off. And that's the chin part done. It will just tuck in under the muzzle. I'll start on the nose now. We start with nine chain. We miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end.
For row two, we start with two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches, one half double crochet into each stitch to, till we get to the last two stitches, and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 3, we start with 2 chain and turn, work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches, 1 half double crochet into the next stitch, and a joined half double crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 4, we work 2 chain and turn, and we work a half double crochet cluster over all our stitches. And that's the nose done. We'll do a neatening row. We work one chain and work one single crochet into each stitch right around to the beginning of the row. So I'll work my neatening row and I'll be back. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the top of the chain and fasten off. And that's the nose. For the outer eye I start with a magic loop using my black and I work three chain and 14 double crochet into my circle. Pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the top of the chains. For row two we work one chain and work one single crochet in the same place as the chain and then two single crochet into each stitch around. So I'll continue around this row and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row you slip stitch into the chain and fasten off. And that's the outer eye done. You'd need two of those. For the inner eye using my white I make a magic loop and work one chain and work five single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the chain. and fasten off. I'll also need two of those. Now for this top face marking part, 
we start with 30 chain We miss the first three chain and work one double crochet into each stitch to the end. So I'll work this row and I'll be back. Once we finish the row we work one chain and we're going to work a row of single crochet as a neatening row right around the whole lot. So starting across the bottom and then up the side. And we'll go right around back down to the bottom. So I'll do this row and I'll be back. At the end of the row we slip stitch in the chain and fasten off. And that's our white marking done. Next I'll crochet the tongue. I'm using my light pink and I make a magic loop. And then work two chain and three half double crochet into the circle. I pull the circle tight but I don't join. For rows two and three I work two chain and turn. I work one half double crochet into each stitch and a half double crochet into the top of the chain. And another row like that. Two chain and turn. One half double crochet into each stitch. and a half double crochet into the top of the chain. For row 4 we work 2 chain and turn and work 1 half double crochet into each stitch. For row 5 we work 2 chain and turn and work a half double crochet cluster over all the stitches. And then we're going to work a neatening row so we work 1 chain and work a single crochet into each stitch around. So I'll work this row and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the first stitch and fasten off. For the little part marking on the tongue, we'll just use a darker pink and work just about five chain. And fasten off. For 
over the years I'm using my dark brown and I start with a magic loop and work three chain and two double crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight but I don't join. For row two I start with three chain and turn and work two double crochet into the first stitch one double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the top of the chain For row 3 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And I work 2 double crochet into the last stitch. For row 4 I work 3 chain and turn, I work 2 double crochet into the first stitch and work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 5 I work 3 chain and turn and I work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And I work two double crochet into the last stitch. For row six, I work three chain and turn. I work two double crochet into the first stitch. and work one double crochet into each stitch to the end. For row seven, I start with three chain and turn. I work one double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two double crochet into the last stitch. For row eight, I work three chain and turn. I work two double crochet into the first stitch. And one double crochet into each stitch to the end.
For row 9, I work 2 chain and turn. I work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches. And then work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 10, I work 3 chain and turn. I work a joined double crochet over the first 2 stitches. Work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches. And then work one half double crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row 11, we work two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. and work one double crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 12, we work 3 chain and turn and work a joined double crochet over the first 2 stitches. Work 1 double crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches. and work one half double crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row 13, we work two chain and turn, work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches, and work one double crochet into each stitch to the end. For row four 14, we work three chain and turn, work a joint double crochet over the first two stitches one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and then one half double crochet into each of the last two stitches for row 15 we work three chain and turn and work a double crochet cluster over all the stitches.
And that's the ear done except for a neatening row. For the neatening row, I'm going to work a row of half double crochet around it. So I start with two chain and work a half double crochet into each stitch. Now to get my ears facing the other way, for the second ear I'd finish and I'd turn it over and do my two chain and work my half double crochet around that way so my ears would point in the different direction. For this one I'll just, I won't turn, I'll work two chain and work a half double crochet into each stitch. There may be times when I'll have to work two half double crochet into a stitch to keep it flat. So I'll just continue around and I'll meet you at the end of the row. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the top of the chain and fasten off. And that's the first ear done. Now I'll just weave in my ends. I'll make another set of eyes, another ear, making sure I turn it before I do my neatening row. And I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now here's all my pieces. The first things I'll do is attach the white face marking to our main piece. The top goes just under the loop and down through our centre circle. I'll attach the nose to the muzzle just in like that. I do have my patterns on my website and they'll have photos of where to attach everything. I'll attach the inner eyes to the outer eyes, like that, and the chain to the tongue, just in like that. The top part goes to where we joined, the join of the tongue. So I'll do all that and I'll be back. Now I'm going to embroider these grey dots onto the muzzle each side and attach the tongue to the chin just along the top so that it will stick up. Now the next thing I'll do is attach the chin and tongue just at the bottom there and then I'll attach the muzzle over the top, just in there. Now next I'll attach the eyes and the ears. Just in like that. And there's the finished dog pot holder. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.